Let us go through some of the subject verb agreement rules. Number one, if the subject is singular, the verb must be singular too. Look at examples. He walks every day. He is the subject and it is singular, thus it needs a singular verb, which is walks. Then we have rule number two. If the subject is plural, the verb must be also plural. Example, they walk every day. They is plural and walk is also plural. When the subject of the sentence is composed of two or more nouns or Then we have the fourth. When there is one subject and more than one verb, the verbs throughout the sentence must agree with the subject. Then we have rule number five. When the phrase comes between the subject and the verb, remember that the verb still agrees with the subject, not the noun or pronoun in the phrase following the subject of the sentence. Look at the example. The learner, as well as the teacher, is excited. Why in a sentence we use is where in fact there is teachers before it because our main subject is the learner not the teacher. It is just a phrase that comes between the subject and the verb. Therefore, we will be focusing on its subject which is learner and that is singular therefore it takes a singular verb which is S. The sixth rule. When two or more singular nouns or pronouns are connected by or or nor, use always a singular verb. Then we have the seventh. When a compound subject contains both singular and a plural noun or pronoun joined by or or nor, the verb should agree with the part of the subject that is closest to the verb. Take note, closest to the verb. This is also called the rule of proximity. Look at example. The student or the committee members write every day. So, even if there is uh, even if the subjects are uh, was this joined by or, since we are going to follow or we're going to follow on the closest subject to the verb, which is members, and members is plural, Therefore, it takes a plural verb, which is right. Then we have the eighth one. The words and phrases with the use of each, each one, either, neither, everyone, everybody, anyone, anybody, nobody, somebody, someone and no one are singular and require a singular verb. Look at the example. Each of the participants was willing to be recorded. So as you have observed in a given example, with the use of each of the participants, even if there is S in the noun participants, we will stick to the rule that says that with the use of those words and phrases like each and etc., it should follow a singular verb. Therefore, we'll use was, willing to be recorded. Let then we have the ninth. Uncountable nouns always take a singular verb. Take, for example, education is the key to success. Education is singular Therefore, it takes singular verb. And education is uncountable now. So we cannot count education, right? Another, diabetes affects many people around the world. And diabetes is singular and it's uncountable. We cannot count it. 
therefore it takes a singular verb which has effects. Another one. The information obtained from the company was relevant to include in the study. So the information is uncountable noun. We cannot count the information. Therefore, it takes a singular verb, which is. And we have the third rule. Some countable nouns in English, such as earnings, goods, odds, surroundings, process, contents, and valuables, only have a plural form and take a plural verb. Look at the example. The earnings for this day surpass expectations. So with the noun, the earnings, it is countable. We can count how much we earn for the day. Therefore, it takes a plural verb, which is surpass. Another, the proceeds from the caravan go to the support of the homeless population in the city. The proceeds is countable. Therefore, it takes a plural verb, which is go. We have the 11th. In a sentence beginning with the there is or there are, the subject follows the verb. Since there is not the subject, the verb agrees with what follows the verb. Look at example. There is little administrative support. So, there is not a subject. Uh, always remember that one. The subject, bear, or the noun is the word administrative support. And it is singular. Therefore, it takes a singular verb, which is S. Then we have the last one. Collective nouns are words 